As one of Imagine's building design application experts, I've worked on countless projects across many industries. Let's just say I've seen what works and what doesn't. Here are my top five user fails when it comes to Revit. Number five, working in the central file. Never ever work in the central file. I'm sure we've all heard this before, and yes, there can be cases where you may need to do this, but unless you really understand the nuances of work sharing in Revit, don't risk it. This fail is for those that know better, but still do it anyways. Number four, using model lines instead of components. Never use model lines when a component will do. If you need a chair, use a chair. Don't draw a 2D representation using model lines. Work with a component. This helps because you can quickly swap them out for other ones, and if you update the component, they update with it. Using work sets like layers. Fail number three. Revit uses work sets, and at first glance, they may seem like layers in AutoCAD, but they are not, and shouldn't be used as such. Work sets allow multiple people to work on the project at the same time, as well as letting people load or not load parts of the model to increase your performance. What work sets are not is a way to control visibilities of your windows or doors or walls like an AutoCAD. Doing this gets you a grade of F for fail. Now, number two, we're getting to the good ones, people that explode a DWG file. Don't import your DWG files into Revit and then explode it. This turns one single unit into hundreds and hundreds of individual elements. Not only can it slow down your model, but it introduces model maintenance and, and integrity problems. Uh, to prevent this fail, link your CAD files. And number one all-time user Revit fail, is implementing Revit and then using it like AutoCAD. BIM is fundamentally different, so to take advantage of BIMs, you have to redesign your workflow. Yes, this may seem like a big deal, and that's because it is, but you'll be glad you did. And those are my top five Revit user fails. If any of these rang true for you, you may want to check out imagineit.com for training or support options tailored specifically for busy AAC professionals. Our experts will help keep you out of trouble. For Imagine It, I'm Carl Storms.